It's another day where we're waking up to single digit lows and negative wind chills. Right now in Carbondale, it's five degrees with a wind chill of about minus nine, and that's due to a west northwest wind of about nine miles per hour. And elsewhere across our area, we're really seeing those pretty cold temperatures. It's zero degrees in Farmington, three degrees in Piedmont, and four degrees in Poplar Bluff. And off towards the east, we're still seeing temperatures of about seven around the Dixon Springs area and five degrees around the Carbondale area. And when you factor in the wind chill, it's feeling like 15 below in Farmington, 12 below in Perryville, and 6 below in Dixon Springs. We do still have our wind chill advisory for all of us here, and this is for wind chills that could be as low as negative 15 degrees, and this goes until about 10 o'clock this morning. So we still have a couple of hours, and if we zoom out, you can see just how expansive these wind chill alerts are across much of the Midwest and also into the Deep South. Right now, all of that snow that fell across our region over the last couple days is now falling as a wintry mix and rain into portions of the deep south. So we're not going to be dealing with any snow today because that system is well now towards the south, but we are still dealing with the bitter cold temperatures that are left in that system's wake. However, the clouds are going to be clearing as we go throughout the afternoon, and we also are tracking a slight, and I mean slight, warm up by the time we make it to Wednesday and Thursday. As we go throughout the rest of the day, temperatures are still going to be in the single digits through about 9 a.m. Double digits by the time we make it to about 1 or 2 o'clock this afternoon. And our highs today are likely going to be around 15 to 16 degrees. By 7 o'clock, I think a lot of us back towards the west are going to be dealing with partly cloudy skies. And then those clouds are going to continue to advance off towards the east. And we could still see a few high thin clouds at around the lunchtime hour. But once those high thin clouds get out of here, we're going to be completely clear through the midnight hour. And sunny skies are really going to be with us throughout the day tomorrow. So that will really help us warm up and melt some of that snow that has accumulated. We also aren't going to be waking up those double digit negative negative wind chills. Expect us to be waking up to wind chill values that are just going to be slightly below zero as of tomorrow morning and our temperatures are going to be rebounding. We are going to be getting pretty close to the freezing mark by the time we make it to two o'clock in the afternoon and notice our wind chills are going to be into the 20s and that warming trend. It's going to be continuing into Thursday with a high of 34 degrees, but we are tracking the chance of a little bit of a wintry mix, especially in the afternoon hours. Keep your storm track three apps handy, especially with radar on the go as you go throughout your day on Thursday, because there is a little bit of disagreement in the weather models. Here's one model that suggests that we could have a little bit more snow across our region and another one that suggests that that snow is going to stay a little bit further off towards the east. So there is a little bit of disagreement in those weather models, but nonetheless, if we do see any snow on Thursday, I don't expect any drastic accumulations because we have about a 1% chance of seeing two inches of snow around Carbondale and about a 10 percent chance further off towards the north and towards the east. I think most of that snow is going to be staying off towards our east and we're not going to see a lot of accumulations across our region. So again, today we're going to be making it up to about 16 degrees. 34 for tomorrow, 34 as well for Thursday with that chance of a few snow showers, especially in the afternoon and evening. We're going to be making it down though to 19 degrees for Friday and Saturday's highs. Single digit lows are going to be returning Friday night into Saturday. But Rachel, you know what? We have some good news. 50s are back on the board for the first time in I don't know how long. Oh, I'm glad to see him back. Yes, you know, I mean, like I was spring. trying to lean into winter <laughs> and everything, but this is a little much. You it know? is a little much. Yes, <laughs> I right. agree. Thanks, Garrett.